Hey, what up, Brian? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Dude, good. I'm loving Hogwarts. How you feeling? Dude, I'm loving it, man. Loving the potion. Wait, aren't you supposed to be in potions? Aren't you supposed to be in potions with Professor Snape? Yeah, but, like... Wait, isn't that Snape right there? Coming this way? Yeah, and you're out of luck, bud. Oh, no. Wait, no. Give me some of that. Give me some of that. <laughs> uh, hey, Snape. Uh, how you doing? What is going on guys? We are back for another What is going on guys? We are back for another episode. No, 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 it's it's this way. I made the same mistake. I made the same oh. mistake. We are back for another episode of Moot Points. I am your host Dylan. This is our co-host Brian. Brian, you look a little different today. Yeah, I felt like dressing up, so it's probably the V-neck that you're seeing that's ah, throwing yes. a little bit off. I'm mm -hmm. normally not this high class, so you know, I just wanted to go a little bit Euro. You know, it's a nice day. Yeah, I wasn't prepped for that, but it uh, looks good. Yeah, Way thank to go. you. Thank you very much. Anyways, guys, as always, we have a jam-packed episode just for you, and we are ready to rock. So without further ado, let's get into our first topic. Brian, we had some crazy leaks. Actually, just one leak recently. That new Fortnite skin, right? Can you believe it? No, not a Fortnite skin. We saw into the future about a marvelous game that is allegedly coming out sometime, hopefully, in 2019. The game is Harry Potter. Harry Potter, yes, that leak. I am yes. glad you brought it up. I didn't know if we were gonna talk about this. First thing we gotta say, this all comes from one dude who recorded a one minute video with his cell phone. Uh, so we're just gonna talk as if this is all true. It might not be, it might all be subject to change, but just had to get that right out of the way. This game is awesome. I don't know how much you know about it, but this game is going to be set at Hogwarts in the 18th, 19th century, 1800s, sorry, 19th century, uh, which is really cool because they get to be out from the original Harry Potter's mm -hmm. shadow. Mm -hmm. They get to tell a new story in kind of a familiar location, but um, it's, it's really exciting to see a new story coming out in this universe. Uh, do you know what kind of game this is going to be, Dylan? Yeah, actually, shout out Just Vape Bro on Reddit. He actually leaked this entire mm -hmm. thing, and he claims that this game is going to be very similar to Skyrim. It's going to be a Skyrim RPG style game, and you know, just like Skyrim, there is ample amounts of customization, mm -hmm. including your wizard type, what spells you want to learn, what your character looks like in general. Mm -hmm. You know, I could go on and on, but customization in video games, man, like, mm, that's just the gravy yeah. and the potatoes so you know i'm really juiced about this game i know you're pretty excited who knows if it's coming to console or pc at this point we don't know but i know you kind of looked a little bit more into this what oh, yeah. else do you know that our viewers should know i think it's similar to the first point about how this is in the 19th century so we're out from harry potter's shadow mm -hmm. but you are coming into the game or you're coming to hogwarts as a fifth year student some sort of prodigy who for some reason missed out on the first four years in Hogwarts. So what's super sick about this is you're, you're starting the game around 15 or 16 years old. Mm. So it's going to be a lot more of a mature game than a game where you're playing an 11 year old or 12 year old. Interesting. So they, it's going to be a much more adult game. In the trailer we saw some serious combat. We saw a lot of violence. I mean there there's violence in Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. Oh jeez. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. All right, yeah, definitely M for Mature, hopefully. Um, super, super excited for this game. You know I'm going to be customizing my character, taking some time off work, etc. Um, Probably shouldn't have said the last one, but uh, yeah, no, you're totally right. This game is going to be super hype. Everything from wizard battles to fighting giant beasts to, you know, making potions. Mm. Hopefully the game has it all. I mean, like we stated in the beginning, hopefully this is even a real game. Hopefully it's even real. Hopefully yeah. it's a real game, but... You know, we're extremely excited. I know Sean is extremely excited. Our, there he goes. Um, are you guys excited? Let us know. We want to hear your thoughts. Do you think this is even going to be a real game? If it is, what do you want to see in it? Let us know in the comments below. We are both looking forward to it. The last thing I got to say about Harry Potter is I hope they have a little bit of Quidditch. And if they don't, I'm going to be kind of mad. You sending me a signal right now? Is I it time? Be. I might be. Is it he mad? I am pissed. No, this we are not doing he mad this week. 
I'm actually pretty happy with the gaming industry as is right now, so I have nothing to say, and I'm gonna cut you off. You're gonna cut me off. Alright, well, if we're not if I'm not letting me do he mad, which this week's topic would be a mad with you. But if we're not doing that, uh let's you know, we got a holiday coming up, and I think there's a pretty common holiday tradition for this holiday. I think we should all just take some time to say what we're thankful for. Are you thinking of Thanksgiving? It's Halloween coming up. No, no, yeah, it's a Halloween tradition. So um, I'm really thankful for turkey, um, mashed potatoes, gravy. Um, Where do you go trick or treating? Where do you celebrate Halloween? In in my neighborhood, we got Ron next door with the turkey. Mavis across the street has been. She makes the best mashed potatoes. She's been making them ever since right. I was a kid. I've been getting mashed potatoes from Mavis on Halloween. Uh, Shout out Mavis. You know what I'm thankful for? That you just invited me to celebrate Halloween with you. Looking forward to it. And Mavis. Shout out Mavis. Coming for your mashed potatoes. I love you, Mavis. On to the next topic. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time for my favorite segment, the Moot Food Review. Mm. Sean, hit me with this. (laughs) (sighs) Sean, just please give me the snack. Hey, we actually did it. All right. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, this week we have a very special snack in the spirit of Halloween. It is Trader Joe's candy corn popcorn, crunchy kernels of popcorn covered in a sweet coating that tastes like candy corn. Those are in stores already? to say that 10 times fast. Yes, they are actually. It's not even near Thanksgiving. It isn't. Would you please hold my mic so I can open these? Please, I couldn't open them. How are you guys doing? Which one's yours? We got the snack open. We are ready to try it. Brian, go ahead. I'm not budging here. Yeah, all right. Just... <laughs> all right, I'm going to take a little snizzack. You can see that they got an assortment of colors. Looks just like kettle corn. These are god-awful. <laughs> these are absolutely disgusting. Not a fan of these whatsoever. Might be the lowest score we've ever had on the show of a 2.1. What did you have to say? I think those are actually surprisingly good. I completely... I hate candy corn. I hate candy corn more than I hate console gamers. Which is saying a lot. I got a lot of rage inside me. And I funnel it into those two avenues, mostly. But, uh... This is pretty good, actually. I'll give this, uh, 5.0. It's the perfect average snack. I would never eat it again. Tastes like a moldy cake. I don't know how else to describe it. Do not recommend. Um, If you're feeling gutsy, go ahead and buy it from the store and try it, but... That's all we got. I recommend don't buying it. No. On to the next. Can I eat the bag? No, you cannot eat the bag. Oh. Well, then 4.5. I quit. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, we are about done. And as I try to recover from that god-awful snack, we are doing... <laughs> the meme of the week. This week it is coming from Philosophy. Love the name, by the way. And I can relate to this one because I've played a lot of GTA and that has happened a lot. Can you relate to this one? Oh, yeah, I can relate to that one because I am also one sticky boy. I don't even know what that means. Well, that's about all we have, guys. Thank you for joining us. It was a very interesting episode. But before we go, it is time for question of the week question of the week what tv show or movie do you want to see get its own game we got the new harry potter game coming out maybe what show or movie should get its own game let us know in the comments down below etc planet earth 2 that's not a movie oh it's a tv show Get on your square. Your square.